Hi, I'm Cece, and today we're going to do a beginner intermediate full body workout. So let's get started. Let's start out in, on our backs in the proper Pilates alignment. And we're just going to start by warming up by lifting the right leg to tabletop and lowering it back down, followed by the left leg to tabletop and lower it back down. We're just going to do a few of these, warming up our muscles. This time, moving on, lift the right leg to tabletop, hold it there, lift the left leg to meet it, bring the right leg down, left leg down. This time, left leg up. Right leg, left leg goes down, right leg goes down. Making sure your abdominal muscles are engaged. That is what we are working here. Give me a couple more. This should be nice and controlled, very little movement. This time bring your right leg to tabletop, left leg table comes to tabletop, hold it here. Send the right leg out on a diagonal, bring it back in. Left leg out on the diagonal and bring it back in. So we're just building on to these movements. You can always continue with the previous step if you'd like or add on as we go. Couple more each side. Now, if you want to add on a little bit more, hold the legs in tabletop, dip the right toe to touch the ground and bring it back up. Left leg to touch the ground and bring it back up. Your back should be in a neutral spine, which means you aren't tucking your pelvis and you're not hyperextending your back. It's kind of just like marching in place, but slow and controlled, working those deep abdominal muscles. One more each side. Set the right leg down and the left leg down. This time you're going to tilt the pelvis, curl it up, warming up our lower backs here. On this one, you're going to continue to curl all the way through into a bridge when you get to the top. Exhale and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, exhale, roll one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the top and exhale to roll back down. If you want to add on this time when you get to the top, lift the arms overhead, leave them there and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Arms come by your side again. Roll up into that bridge, arms go overhead, and roll down. Release. Let's do one more of those. Curl up, arms go overhead, and we're going to roll back down. This time, curling up into your bridge, Holding it there, you're going to lower the hips to the ground and lift them back up. Lower to the ground, lift them back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can either continue to do this movement or you might want to walk your feet a little bit closer in. You can hold the bridge here and alternate leg lifts. So you want as minimal movement as possible. We're just going to do one more each side. Hold high. This time bring the right leg up, adding on again if you want. Dip your seat down, lifting back up. Two, three, Four. Release that right leg down. Lift the left leg up. Pulse one, two, three, 
four, lower the left leg, and let's do pulses to finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gently release. Let's come into a quick figure four. Stretch out those hamstrings. And switch sides. Let's come back into that position. Feet are hip distance apart. This time you're gonna send your hands behind your head, head just gently resting in the hands. You're not pulling on your neck. You're gonna curl your chin and lift the shoulder blades off the ground and lower it back down. Curl up and lower it back down. Nice and controlled. Now you can either keep doing this or add on, hold that curl, lift the right leg, lower, left leg, lower, right leg, lower, left leg, lower. and curl back down. Moving on, this time we're gonna curl our head, bring the right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop, send those hands out in front of you for a hundreds. Pulse, two, three, four, two, three. Now you can either leave your legs in tabletop, or if you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you can bring your legs out on a diagonal, whatever is most comfortable for you. You also have the option, if this is hard for your neck, you can continue with the movement, engaging those abs and keeping your neck down on the floor. So it's whatever is best for you for today. Just a couple more. Bring the knees in, head goes down, and let's roll it out. Option one is you curl your left elbow to your right knee and switch right elbow to left knee. Nice and slow, coming back down in between each one. Or you can bring both legs to tabletop, curl up, and do the full scissors position from here, keeping everything lifted. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come back down and let's roll it out. Got one more exercise in this position if you would like. So you can bring both legs to tabletop, curl everything off the ground, place the hands just below your knees. You're gonna send your legs and arms out overhead and then curl it all back down. Everything comes out and curl it back in. So we're staying nice and lifted in this position. Just the arms and legs are moving. Give me four more. Four, three, two, one and come back down and roll it out. Send the arms overhead and the legs out in front of you. You're gonna exhale as you roll to the top, inhale at the top, and exhale as you roll back down. Inhale, exhale as you roll up, inhale at the top, 
and exhale to roll back down. Inhale, exhale. Now, if this is difficult for you, I do have a video on how to do a roll up, so you can check that one out. We're gonna do one more. And roll back down. This time, let's bend the right knee. We're gonna do just a couple of dynamic hamstring stretches to warm it up really fast. Let's keep the left leg straight out in front of us, the right leg straight up above. You have the option to put your arms in a T, or if you would like it to be a little bit more difficult, you can put your arms overhead. We're gonna do some leg circles. So just tracing a circle on the ceiling. It can be nice and small, just like this, making sure you engage those abs, little movement as possible. And let's switch directions. One more. Bend that knee and send it down and let's switch to the other side. So let's just do a couple of dynamic hamstring stretches. Again, arms can be on a T or lifted overhead. And let's draw a circle on the ceiling. Switch sides. Bend that knee down, knees to chest, and roll it out. Now let's come on to our sides. So you have the option to either be lifted or laying down, propped up on your hand whatever is most comfortable for you. Your legs should be slightly out in front of you. And we're gonna start by lifting the top leg, foot flex, bring that leg forward, and bring that leg back. So nice controlled movement. Your legs should not be swinging. This is not about momentum. You're using your abdominal muscles to help you move that leg. Give me one more. Keep that leg lifted. Let's circle clockwise. And reverse. Lower it back down. This time keep your left leg on the ground, bottom leg on the ground. Lift the top leg up and lower it back down. Four more. Now you can either continue doing this or you can add on. We're gonna lift both of the legs, so keep them glued together and lift them both off the ground together and lower them back down. They don't need to come very high. Two more. Adding on if you would like, lift both legs off the ground, keep the bottom leg where it's at, and lift the top leg away from it and bring them back together. Give me four more. Four, three, two, one. Lower both legs down and let's switch to the other side. So again, you can either be lifted up on your elbow or down resting on your hand, whatever is most comfortable for you. 
We're gonna start out by lifting that top leg, flexing the foot, bring the leg forward, point to come back. So you can either have your top hand out in front of you, or you can have it up on your hip, whatever is best for you. Last one, keep that leg lifted and let's do leg circles. One more in this direction, switch directions. And lower it back down. So keeping those legs stacked on top of each other, we're gonna start out by lifting the top leg away and lowering it back down. This time, if you want to add on, we're gonna lift both legs off the ground and lower it back down. Two, four more, four, three, two, one. If you wanna add on a little bit more, lift both legs off the ground, hold that bottom leg in the position that it's in and lift the top leg away from it and bring it back together. So you have the option to continue on with that top leg either on the ground or lifted like I've got it here, lifting your top leg away from it. Give me four more. Four, three, two, one. Lower both legs and we're gonna come on to all fours. Okay, start out on all fours in a neutral spine, hands are directly underneath your shoulders, um, feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna start, start by lifting the right arm and setting it back down. Lifting the left arm and setting it back down. Again, one more each side. Now leave the hands there, lift the right leg away and set it back down. Left leg. We're working on some of our balance moves here. All of those stabilizer muscles. This should be nice and controlled. One more on the left side. You can either continue lifting your hands and your legs individually, or if you're ready to move on, lift the right arm and the left leg for a brief hold, and then bring them back down, switched. So opposite arm, opposite leg, and lower back down. Let's do one more each side. This is a great way to get you warmed up and ready for a plank. I think I did an extra each side, but that's okay. Okay, so you can either continue with that or if you're ready, let's move into a plank. So right leg goes back, left leg goes back. You also have the option to do this down on your forearms if you prefer. I'm gonna stay up on my hands and we can hold. You can either just stay in a hold or rock back and forth if that's comfortable. If you wanna add on a little bit more, let's lift that top leg for eight seven, sorry, the right leg, six, five, four, three, two, one, set the right leg down, keep lifted, you've got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right knee comes down, left knee comes down and push back into a shell stretch. 
So now let's come on to our stomachs. I'm gonna stack my hands in front of me on top of each other and rest my forehead on my hands. My feet are about mat distance apart. Engage your abs, lift the legs off the mat for some heel beats. It's okay if the heels don't come all the way together. Eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release the legs down. This time the legs stay down, engage those abs, and lift the elbows off the ground, lifting your chest. Two more. And release. Send your arms out in front of you. So you either can lift arms and legs off the ground and just hold in this position here, or if you want to add on, switch tapping alternate legs like you're swimming. Come back to center and let's give it a hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release, push back for a stretch, and let's come back into that shell stretch again. Roll back up, come to sitting cross-legged, lift the arms overhead, inhale, exhale, release. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please hit that like button and follow along for more videos like this. Ooh.